We're looking at how we might add together 369 and 148. I'm now going to show you my favourite method. It is a method that you have to get used to. So children wouldn't be doing this unless they'd practised with this equipment before. But basically we're using this equipment, which is sometimes called base 10 equipment. And we're going to get each number using the equipment. So there's 300 and 69. The colours of the equipment actually don't matter. It just happens to be the, the things I've got at the moment. There's the 369. And now I'm going to get the 148. So I've got 100 and 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, ah, that was lucky. 148. And now I'm going to start with the ones, as some schools call them, or the units, as some schools call them. So I'm definitely starting with those. So let's combine those together. Well, there's a lot of them now. There's 9 add 8. But if you line them up with a stick, you'll soon find, and the child will soon find, that there's more than 10. There we go, there's 10 there, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we get rid of those, because we've swapped them for a 10. So now we've got 7 units, and we've got 1 extra 10. So now we combine the tens. Here's our six tens and our four tens and the one extra ten that we've got. These are a bit easier to handle and it's very easy to see that actually we've got ten tens, which is a hundred, and the one other ten. So I'm moving those out of the way. That means we've got now a 10 and one extra 100. Now we gather together the 300s and the 100 and the 100 that we've just found and all together we've got 500s. So we now have 500s, 110, 7 units, 517.